Hello everyone, this is Leah with Scraptastic Patchwork. If you hear some power tools, that's my husband working next door. I have a pile of little crumbs of patchwork from my K Facet collection. And this was from another pro project that I did. And I also have some scraps, some strips, a longer strip. And I thought what I would do is make fabric collage this is my fusible fleece glue side up and my mat and I've got my little iron at the ready here. I'm going to make a collage and then I think I'm going to frame them, frame it on these wood, cheap wood embroidery hoops. And I think I'll use this longer piece as sort of a binding that if I'll just cut it in strips and then wrap it around here to serve as kind of a frame or a binding and then whatever I have left I'm gonna make a pin cushion so why don't you go ahead and watch me make this little fabric collage in sped up motion and see what we come up with I'm gonna do some fancy stitches too later going to trim off. I can't believe that I used it all. I just um, I just used some of the strips along the outside. Can you see that? Yeah. Just around the border. And then I mostly used my little crumb pieces for the, the in-between. Oh, maybe I should have put a border piece over here too okay that's what I'm gonna do and then I'm going to see about 
putting this, oh man, do I want to just leave it like this and frame it? <laughs> I don't know. Let's see uh, how it looks. I don't know. Maybe that's going to be kind of cool. All right. So after I'm going to put the border piece over here and then I'm going to do some, some zigzag and maybe some other stitches I haven't done before. So let me go ahead and do that. I've gone ahead and finished my stitching to my collage here and I actually just stayed on my straight stitch machine because I was having fun just doing some kind of circular things and wavy lines just kind of relaxed into it and just went until I thought it was done so you don't need to have fancy stitches and in this case I'm not going to however once I get it on the hoops I might add some things so First of all, I started wrapping my hoop. So this one, I have a scrappy um, strip that I put together. I cut one inch strips of, uh, so I'm almost at the end of my K-Facet fabric. So I thought I would just use everything up in this, in these projects that I'm going to be doing. So I had just five inch little pieces that little strips that I cut down to one inches and then sewed them together so it'd be easier and then kind of like you wrap rope you just start here so you're you're wrapping the outside ring with the screw you start here just adding a little glue and then you start wrapping all the way around until you get to the other side. So you don't want to wrap over so that you can't adjust this when you are going to put this into the middle ring. But um, that's how we're going to do our little binding or our frame. So I have decided to do three. I'm going to do this one is a six inch and then I'm going to do two of the five inch one. So for the five inch I had just a little bit left of this fabric so as far as how much you will need so for the five inch I would say it's safe to do like equivalent to a with a fabric strip so I think I have about 42 44 inches here and from what I can tell it looks like I'll have extra so I probably had more. I forgot to actually measure, <laughs> but I'll, I probably had, I mean, I probably could determine one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Yeah, that's not going to be a good determine. I can't, I can't figure it out, but for the five inch with a fabric. So just give yourself a little bit more if you're working with a bigger one and you can always add more. It's not, it's not difficult. I did sew these together, but you don't have to. If when you get to the end of whatever strip you have, you can put just another little piece of another little drop of glue and then continue again. So it's not like you have to start out with a perfect measurement. But as I said, you just start with the glue and then you just start wrapping like this. So I'm going to finish this one and I do have two other strips to work with for my other little one and so the the frames will be done now as far as what I'm how I'm going to cut this I am going to cut two inches more than the outer ring so this is a six inch so I'm going to do an eight inch square and then for the obviously five inch I'll do a seven inch and then the other five inch I'll do another seven inch so that's what I'm going to do then we'll stretch it on the rings after I've finished wrapping and then whatever I have left I'm going to put together in a chunky square pin cushion but First of all, let's finish doing these. And then, as I said, I want to do some embellishments. So I found an even smaller hoop 
So this one is a four inch. So I've got a four, a five, and a six. So at this point, I have completely wrapped my outer hoops with my one inch strip. And then I stretched my squares. Again, I'm cutting them two inches bigger than the outer hoop. And there's plenty of different ways that you can finish this off. Um, you could actually sew this together. What I did is I did some glue and I'm holding it together with some clips. And so after it dries, that's what it's going to look like. And then after I do my embellishment, I'm going to cut a circle of maybe felt or something like that, something maybe that doesn't fray so much, and I'm just going to glue it to the back so that'll finish it off. So what I decided to do, so I'm a beginner embroiderer, and so I don't really know any fancy stitches. That's on my to-do list. So I just decided to do some very simple kind of funny flowers and I've embroidered the stems. So I've just used a very simple, uh, I think it's a split stitch for the outside and then I did a satin stitch, kind of messy <laughs> if you can see, uh, to, to make my little stems. But I've attached the flower heads first and so what I did is for this bigger six inch one, these were two squares five by five that I sewed together and then back or, uh, top stitched. And I did, I drew a circle in the middle, very not perfect circle. And then I did a running stitch. And then when you pull it, you get kind of a gathered flower with four petals, I guess. So I just kind of gather that together and then sewed this shut so it kind of stayed together then and then placed it sewed it to my hoop and then I found some vintage buttons that I layered and the centers will look like little centers of the flowers and then I sewed it on. So after you sew your little flower petals center add your little stems. That's all. Real simple. I mean you can decide to do something fancier if you like. So for the so this, as I said, was a five by five, two squares sewn together. This one is, um, I think I did a four inch, which is, yeah, this one. And then this is a three and a half inch square that I sewed together and left an opening so they can turn it right side out. And then I did a top stitch around to close it up. And then you kind of have a, an internal and a external petal petals so I'll work work that nicey nice nicer and then I'll do my circle pull it and then attach it and embroider it so that's just kind of a simple way to uh, adorn these little cute things that I'm gonna hang on the wall next to my K facet my very first K facet quilt so I'm going to get these done and then I'll show you what they look like on the wall. Here are my cute little wall hangings all done. I love them. They were so fun to make too. So I think that these are a great idea for a little gift or another scrap project because I am trying to use up my scraps in this. So I think this one turned out cute because it looks like it's, uh, you know, like in a garden or something. My mom thinks this look like, looks like it's uh, 
the C. And so I didn't find any felt in my stash, so I just used some fleece. And I just did a few circles of fleece to cover up all the the bad stuff back there, although who cares really, but and I love the the graduated sizes. So these are going to go up. I will show you in a bit a picture of of how they look on the wall. And I'm hanging them right next to my K-Facet quilt I made. We have a fabric sale going on right now at my eBay shop. Link is below. It's through the month of September. The most of my home decor that I have on there is 25% off and then I'm going to be adding lots and uh, different groupings periodically through the month. I'm really doing a big de-stash, so be sure to check that out. I make sure I let you guys know that there's going to be cotton too. Quilting cotton, there's going to be a lot of flannel, um, just all kinds of stuff that I'm finding <laughs> as I uncover things in my fabric room. So uh, there should be things for everyone. So thank you very much for joining me for this little project, and I hope it encourages you and inspires you to, to make your own. I'll be talking to you soon. Bye.